Once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a young villager named Rico. Rico was restless and felt lost in the chaos of life. He often wondered, how can I find myself? What is the purpose of my existence? One sunny morning, Rico decided to seek answers. He heard of an old wise monk named Master Kuma, who resided high in the mountains. Rico believed that Master Kuma might hold the key to his questions. With determination in his heart, Rico began his arduous journey up the steep mountain path. The path was long and challenging, filled with obstacles and distractions. Along the way, he encountered fellow travelers, some seeking wisdom, others seeking wealth, and still others seeking fame. Despite these distractions, Rico persevered, focusing only on his quest to find himself. As he ascended, he noticed how the trees grew stronger and taller, their roots anchored firmly in the earth. He realized that just as the trees found their purpose in growing towards the sky, he too needed to find his own path and purpose in life. After days of climbing, Rico reached the top of the mountain, where the humble abode of Master Kuma stood. The wise monk welcomed Rico and invited him to sit. Rico, eager to find answers, asked, Master Kuma, how can I find myself? What is the purpose of my existence? Master Kuma smiled and offered Rico a cup of tea. He said, Rico, finding yourself is like discovering the source of a river. It is not out there but within you. Just as the river flows from a hidden spring deep within the earth, your true self is already within you, waiting to be uncovered. Rico was puzzled. He asked, but how do I uncover it? How do I know my purpose? Master Kuma replied, to find yourself, you must learn to be still, like the calm surface of a lake on a windless day. Only then can you see the reflection of your true self. Let go of the distractions of the world and the desires that pull you in different directions. Rico listened intently and realized that the journey to find oneself wasn't about climbing mountains or chasing external dreams. It was about turning inward, embracing stillness, and listening to the whispers of one's heart. With gratitude, Rico thanked Master Kuma and descended the mountain. He returned to his village, where he began a daily practice of meditation and self-reflection. Over time, he found that the more he looked within, the clearer his purpose became. Rico came to understand that his purpose was not something to be discovered in the external world but a journey to uncover the wisdom, love, and kindness that already resided within him. He learned that finding oneself was a lifelong path of self-discovery, and the key was simply to be still, listen, and trust the journey. And so, Rico's journey to find himself continued, not as a daunting climb up a mountain but as a peaceful exploration of his inner landscape. He realized that the true treasure lay not at the end of a path but in the depths of his own being, waiting to be unearthed through mindfulness, self-awareness, and the wisdom of the heart.